got trailer latches for the doors. That's weird. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's actually a Hummer. It's a fake. There we go. The best in the game at buying junkers. <laughs> Guys, it has taken so long for me to have a good heart-to-heart -heart discussion with our army truck. Trying, I'm trying to encourage it to run better and to drive better, not catch its fire as many times as it has. I need to set up a tent. You know, it gets pretty hot out here in the Kansas sun, but I think me and the army truck are working through our issues together, but we'll have to come back to that shortly because my brother just called me and he told me some absolutely great news. He found a 2000 Hummer H1. Now, if you don't know what a Hummer H1 is, it's pretty much the civilian version of a Humvee. I never see them go to auction. And when they do, they are insanely expensive. I mean, upwards of $100,000 for a really nice. This one is not so nice. It's an NOP Pro, which means it does not run, it's probably junk, and it's probably at least wrecked on three corners, which means it's perfect for Weston. So, let's go look at it. Come on, let's go! We've got a banana plan cooking. Dom, look at the new ride. I know. It's a, it's awesome. Get in the back, let's go. We got, a, we got a new ride to go look at, maybe, if it runs. It don't run, but okay, we'll go look at it still. It says it's a diesel. I don't. I'm confused. It, it is a diesel, but it's a half ton. It's like a baby. It's like a baby diesel. To be honest, Dom, it sounds like my mower. It's like a diesel, but huge. <laughs> Wrap it up, Dom. Let's see if we can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a six liter with no oil in it. <laughs> Dude, it's really nice. It just. It really just sounds like a Vortec with no oil. <laughs> All right, get in. Let's go. That screen there would just be perfect for adult films. Dom's been talking about how you Honestly, figured out to watch Netflix on it. I'm like, Dom, we both know you've not been watching Netflix on it. You know, we stopped at Dom's house and Dom's dad says, hey, Dom, take this out to Weston. I don't know if he thinks I'm bananas or if I'm a monkey. I think you're a little too big to be a monkey. I, I had Dom convinced that we was going to get that crappy limo that I was looking at on Facebook the other day. Like, we're going to get a limo? That sucks, dude. And then I showed him a picture of the Hummer. And he's like, oh. <gasps> It's amazing. And then he had to go behind the shed for about five minutes with my phone. And I don't know what he was doing back there, but I just kept hearing the shh. Don't be telling him what secrets. <laughs> that thing's got 12 out of it. I think, I think I want it. Dom, let's go get it. Okay. You wanna drive it? What, the truck? Yeah. Just a bear shit in the woods. <laughs> A bear might not listen, does it? <laughs> this is the meaning of true friendship. Buddy drive, buys a brand new pickup and then he lets you drive it. I've changed my mind. This is officially a review channel. We're going to start reviewing brand new cars. So guys, here we are in the 2020 Ram 1500 with three... How many liters is it, Dom? Three liters. Three liter V6 Eco Diesel. This one here doesn't even have the self vibrating tire feature, so you can't tell how fast you're going. See, in my older Dodges, you kind of start feeling that shake about 75. It keeps you from speeding. It has a little bit of a sense of danger, a little bit of a sense of, oh no, I'm going to die. And this, this truck, it does not have any of that. So if you're used to an older Dodge, just be careful if you get into a newer, nicer one like this one. You See, just I just run over little Timmy right there. I didn't even feel it. That's that new active Ram suspension working at its maximum. Dude, how's Jeremy Clarkson do this? I think I'm just sounding like an idiot right now. <laughs> dude, dude, you're the wrong way. What happened? We are officially at Starbucks. I've never walked into Starbucks in my life, but we both gotta go to the bathroom and we figured Starbucks is gonna have the nicest bathroom you've ever seen. I don't think we're the Starbucks kind. Restrooms are closed, my man. You've got a mullet. You got. You definitely got to walk in. Um, smells like coffee in here. Well, first trip to Starbucks, and to say they don't like people recording in their stores. So she told me I couldn't record, but I've got chocolate croissants, so hopefully that makes up for it. Dumb. They have a good bathroom. I thought that this was a joke that they got your name wrong at Starbucks. I told that lady Weston. What did she write? Wellston. Look at this. B e l s t. Wellston. What do you think about Starbucks, Dom? F them. Why? They got good croissants. Their bathroom was closed and they made me walk a block. And then she told me I couldn't record. And she's like, oh, do you enjoy photography or what? And I'm like, oh, no, I'm a YouTuber. It's like, oh, dear God. 
This person uploads videos to the internet? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. Porn up videos, but YouTube's too. All right, guys, we made it here, so let's go look. Uh, maybe our brand new H1 Hummer. Let's go see. Oh, I see the back of it. Here it is, boys. Oh, it's silver? I just think that Arnold's were driving this through a fog of smoke right now. Sheriff? That looks cool. It's in is that how Hummer have door latches? Uh -huh. Oh, the interior's not bad. Is that a roof rack? That's for all their gear. At least this was a uh, sheriff truck. Dude, this is an actual, wait a minute. Look at the tires. Hold up, Dom. Hold up, something's not right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? This isn't a Hummer. It's not a Hummer. Hummers have independent fronts. What the? What the hell? Here, hold that. I don't think it's actually a Hummer. Dude, it's a fake. This is faker than a $10 Rolex. So you're saying you don't see very many Hummers with four big blocks? That's a Cobra big, well, it's got Cobra man, uh, valve covers on it. So that just means it's a Cobra engine. This is like a Ford chassis on a Hummer body. This is cool. This is not what I expected to be at all. It's completely fake. I don't know if it's, I think it's a complete reproduction. Like this, like look at all this. Like I don't, I, I've never really been up and close with an H100 to know what they're like, but like all this unsealing, I don't think that that's military grade. Didn't need to open that one anyway. That one's military grade. That one is military grade. <laughs> I own a military truck. I can tell you what's military grade. If it's broken, it's military grade. Is there a key in it? I'm actually liking it more though. <laughs> to be honest, when you buy a regular Hummer, there's a lot of things that's not good about it. Namely, the 6.2 liter engine or the 6.5 that you just have to change out. This, this is a lot of noise. And look, the air conditioning's even hooked up. I'm not liking that. What? This would have to go. What are you talking about? Look at that. It's got cro a Cobra. First of all, this here is likely blown up. <sighs> Maybe. It is a high boy frame. It's a Ford frame, Ford engine transmission. That's a 360. But did you see the transfer case under it? The transfer case is an MP205, one of the big meaty ones. We ain't gonna break that. It's a 360. What? It's a 360 motor. Or a 390. Or a 390. Could be. Has to be one of the two. I would, 390s are a lot more common than so. Well. So it's a complete fake. No, it might yeah, not be. Yeah, it's a complete fake. It's completely. See, Hummers have a completely independent front rear suspension on them. They have, um, they, there's just, a, it's so much difference. There's nothing that's similar at all about the chassis. The only thing that's similar is it looks like a big square that says Hummer on the front. That's the only thing that makes it look like a Hummer. We have room for activities up here. I mean, we've got a good foot between the firewall. You know what that means? 12 valve. Let's be real here. Cummins, Cummins power. Or Duramax. Or Duramax power. I know, I feel like I've been catfished because like online, she's a 10 out of 10. She's got the blonde hair, the blue eyes. I get here in person and her name's Steve. <laughs> well, first. I've never seen one of these in person. This is, look at this though. They, they couldn't adapt it together so they took a piece of exhaust flange and put a little hose and then a big hose. That looks like some Dom would do. Dom, did you build this thing? I gotta ask. What? Is that a roll of duct tape under that air cleaner? If it's got a roll of duct tape under it, I don't care how much it is, I'm buying it. Well guys, obviously it's an inoperable because it's got the steering wheel tied up by the seat belt. But the interior is actually pretty nice. I mean, we've actually got gauges. All kinds that can join together though because it's got a Chevrolet steering column, a Hummer steering wheel, Ford engine, Ford body, and a Chevrolet gas pedal. So I don't know where they're going with this thing. Like, it, Actually, this is probably fiberglass doors. That's exactly what these are. These are fiberglass doors. Well, and you can see where somebody's done a lot of Bondo work right here. You can see the pinholes in the Bondo. But they did a good paint job, so that's all that's important. Dom, are you seriously gonna ignore this over that? I kind of like that little thing. You it's like electric that. and it's manual. And you don't like this? No, oh, this, this is fake. It's still awesome? No, no, no. You know what? Guys, I'll meet you back home. Uh, here's the keys to my Laramie. <laughs> Woo! It's toasty in here. I don't know how the hell he ignores this for an electric golf cart with windows. 
Okay, you know what? Screw the Hummer. Tell this guy to pull over. That's what I want. Do you think? Hmm, let's see. Just what I thought, it sounds exactly like Dom's Dodge. Now today is auction day and we just watched the H1 Hummer sell or the fake H1 Hummer sell. And to be honest, it brought way more money than I actually thought it was worth. It brought close to what I think an actual real on non-running H1 Hummer would be worth. Anyway guys, that Hummer is now gone. So if any of you know where there's a cheap, broken or a blown up H1 Hummer, go over to Instagram and hit me up over there. Send me a message, comment on one of my posts, do anything you want. And you know what? I'm still looking for one. I'd love to have one. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.